Hey guys, Josh here. So today I want to talk about just a range of things really. But firstly, I apologise for the lack of videos recently. I think both me and Michael have been pretty busy, um, like from now on really, with school. So we're going to like reduce the amount of videos we do a week. Um, I think it has been like a lot less than we'd like to recently just because um, I haven't really been playing much. And I think, like I logged on today. Um, I think this weekend will be the first time I can play like quite a bit, but uh, whenever I've logged on, it's probably like the first time in about probably like a year that when I log on I don't see you last logged on yesterday, it's been like you last logged on like three days ago, four days ago. Um, I haven't really played like at all for about like two weeks or so, uh, which is why I haven't really done many videos. I think the main, like, the main thing I did this week was just logged on for the quest and then try to do ports as much as possible uh, throughout the weeks but like even that is literally just been like two times a week um but i do want to uh, just play a bit more now i've got a bit more free time so just currently capping at the citadel um still going for 99 wood cutting just 765k off so possibly i could do that this weekend we'll have to wait and see uh, but i'll definitely get that sometime uh, next week i reckon so um, also, I want to talk about just sort of other uh, like series and other videos. So I think tomorrow, me and Michael will try and do a dual commentary on something, possibly like how the combat beta is going, uh, because they've done like quite a lot of updates recently to that, and so we could uh, sort of look at how I guess combat is evolving again. Um, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. And also in terms of series. Michael's got his rotor seismics, that's like well underway, uh, he's doing really well with that. I've still got my Losing the Queen series, um, that is still going. I guess I could quickly show you the tab I've got for that. I I can't remember if I've actually recorded any more well, um, after the last episode, I haven't really been to QBD in quite a while, but this is what the tab's looking like at the moment, so quite a lot, uh, quite a lot of items in here. But yeah, I'm still going with that one, so... I do want to finish that at some point, I just haven't really got around to bossing, like, I don't boss at all, uh, really, I've been just doing a lot of skilling whenever I logged on, so I have to get back into bossing a bit more as well, and then finish off that uh, QBD series. In terms of duo series, we still haven't got around to really um, planning anything for that, so if you've got any suggestions for a duo series, and leave it down in the comments. Um, not a From Scratch series, don't want to do any of that yet, possibly in the summer we could do that, we have more time, but just a fun duo series, um, leave that down in the comments, uh, I'd like to hear what you think. Um, so I guess that's kind of like what's happening with the channel at the moment. I thought I'd quickly talk about the poll. So I think there's actually been two polls, yeah, two polls have been released, so they haven't um, released another, what is this, diamond poll, so there's only Dragonstone and the Ruby. First one is for future quests, so you can either have Sixth Age quests, uh, next in a series, standalone quests or no quests, and sixth age quest is thankfully winning. Um, if you just look at the descriptions, if you hover over um, this kind of thing, you'll see that they can continue with uh, Sir Owen, Avancies, Tusker, Elder mm. Gods, or Dragonkin, which do all look really interesting. Like I wouldn't mind having either of those storylines, uh, having quests for those. So I'm definitely voting for sixth age and sixth age quest. Like. Um, in terms of lore, have been fairly interesting so far, so I definitely want one of these. If you look for the next in the series one, Desert. Um, I don't really mind Desert, I know a lot of people don't like the Desert quest. I wouldn't mind that, but then you've got stuff like Elemental Workshop. No thank you, the first four, I think there's four, they are absolutely shocking in my opinion. Uh, gnomes, Penguins and Pirates, I wouldn't mind, but I th like, I'd rather go for like lore based quests. Standalone quest, they want like comedy adventure, time travel detective, or romance, doesn't really interest me, so um, I wouldn't vote for that. Ruby quest, uh, Ruby poll rather. The master skill capes, this one's kind of surprising that actually the like the vote for master skill capes is winning, um, 62%, so that definitely will pass. Um, this is basically just 120 capes, so the equivalent of 120 Dungeoneering capes for all skills, you need 104 mil XP. Uh, to get this, it's purely cosmetic. It doesn't. I th I'm assuming it has the same stats as a skill cape, and it won't be re uh, required for like trimmed comp or comp or anything like that. So there's no reason to vote against it, really. Like the only reason is um, that it takes up development time. But then 
I think a lot of the concept art, like people really come up with concept art which actually looks really cool so there's not really much of a problem there. It's literally just like editing the current skill capes and then it's kind of done. So that's like a fairly uh, cool update. I definitely, I'm not, I'm not really going to go for a master skill cape. I'm not even maxed yet, like that's the other thing, I've got to get maxed first before I even consider one of these and comp. Um, the only thing I could possibly see myself getting is like maybe a sort of like HP or magic, some kind of combat stat that actually even like summoning on double XP weekend but sort of like something that I would just do over time not really go for so I mean like just from bossing I'd get up magic and HP so possibly I'd like I could get one of those over time like I'm almost halfway to a 120 uh, HP cave anyway so possibly we'll see um, in the very far future if I could manage to get one of those the last thing I want to talk about, actually no, I'll quickly talk about my maxing as well. Um, like I guess I haven't really been playing, so I haven't really made much progress since that double XP weekend, but I'm on a 2.430 skill total, so um, getting fairly high. I need to get 70 more levels this year, and that's all my aim, which really shouldn't be that difficult. Um, we're only in March, I just kind of like went blank there for me, I forgot what month it was. We're in March so I've still got um, quite a long time, nine months to go for 70 levels so that should be fairly easy to do. I do want to start a road to max cape at some point, that will definitely be after um, I finish looting the Queen series. But I reckon, I reckon I'll go for all 90s before starting that just so that I am, I am like fairly close to max but not close enough so it's like a, a three video series. So I think I'll probably go for that, or at least like around that, and then I'll start a Road to Max Cape um, series. I know Michael like recently stopped his for Road to Seismix, but I think he does want to get back into maxing after Seismix, so he might start his up as well, and maybe we could have like a race possibly, something like that, that could be quite a cool series. Uh, but the last thing I want to talk about is actually the Rejuvenating the Wilderness that came out in Old School. So I haven't, I haven't actually played Old School in a few months now, I don't think I've played it this year, 2014, so it's been quite a while, um, I have just been focusing on skilling really. Um, but rejuvenate, uh, Rejuvenating the Wilderness it definitely looks like an amazing update, um, I haven't played it yet, I probably won't because I'm not really a high enough level to do any of that content, but like, <coughs> there's so many new bosses, new monsters, just a ton of new content, which really looks quite cool, and I reckon they will do something like that on RS3. But they really can't at the moment just because none of that stuff on RS3 would entice you into the wilderness just because like the wilderness is completely dead and then like the whole idea behind um, that on old school is it's high risk high reward but then there would just be no PKs on RS3 so it would be like high reward for no risk pretty much. Um, so I think once they sort out PKing with the combat beta and then make it so there are people PKing I think they could do some kind of rejuvenating the wilderness um, thing to get people back in because at least then like you could be fighting the bossing, uh, you could be fight fighting the bosses in the wilderness and then there's actually a chance of being PK'd uh, rather than just like you can camp it for literally 10 hours and not see a single person. Um, that would be a bit more interesting. So I talked about quite a lot there, um, don't even know what about but I think I'll end the video there so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later.